US President Donald Trump hosted Iraqi Prime Minister Mustafa al Kadimi at the White House. The Prime Minister's visit aims to reboot ties that have been soured since the US operation against Qasem Soleimani on Iraqi soil earlier this year. Now, the US President reaffirmed his commitment to withdraw all American troops from Iraq. While Trump did not give a timetable for this withdrawal, the Secretary of State Mike Pompeo has said that it will happen as soon as the mission against the ISIS is completed. Now, Donald Trump also said that American presence was crucial in countering Iran's destabilizing influence in the country. The relationship is very good. Uh, we have become friends. We have become, I think, friendly. I think our relationship now is better than ever before, but we have uh, very few soldiers uh, in Iraq, and, uh, but we're there to help. And the Prime Minister knows that we are there to help. We're with some people that also, Mike and Mike, uh, we, and Robert, we very much feel that uh, if Iran should do anything, we will be there to help uh, the Iraqi people. The pro-Iranian politicians in Iraq want American troops to be expelled immediately from the country. The U.S. has nearly about 5,000 troops on the ground stationed in Iraq, along with 2,500 coalition forces. Now, al Qadimi's proximity to the West has further angered the Iranian-backed militia, and this has resulted in a spike in the number of attacks on U.S. targets in the country. Now, al Qadimi has rejected Iran's influence in his country and has recaptured multiple border posts run by the militia. He's also moving to secure energy deals with Western companies to rebuild an economy that is in doldrums. Now, Iraq has also signed energy deals with five U.S. firms during the Prime Minister's visit. At his meeting with Trump, al Qadimi has proclaimed that Iraq is open for American businesses. I'm grateful for all the support offered by the United States to Iraq during the war against ISIS. This support has built our partnership for the best interests for our nation. Mr. President, yesterday we, all, we signed many contracts many contract with American companies, over $10 billion. Iraq is open for American business and investment and for a better future for Iraq and Iraqi people.